Okay. Now let's talk about fighting the Tea Party more. Uh, okay. I wrote this song in Barcelona last year, hanging out with folks from this movement who calls themselves Indignados or the May 15th movement, yada yada yada. And uh, I was walking around with my friend and she was showing me different spots where the protests had been and where things had happened and we were just talking about it. And I was finding so many similarities between what happened there and what happened in, in Wisconsin at this protest that I was at. Um, and though they had no communication, A, because the Wisconsin protests were in February of 2011 and the stuff in Spain wasn't until May, so they couldn't possibly have communicated directly. But I was like, I don't know, I was seeing these similarities. And I wrote this there, but I think it's very applicable right now, right here also. Um, and, and I wrote this song for my friends in Wisconsin who like gave so much of their, their time and energy. Some of them like failed school because they spent all this time in the capital instead of doing their schoolwork. Um, and they, and they, and, but more so like, like all these young people put their whole heart into it and they thought, man, this is really going to change things. And they lost. All the, the political battle, they, they lost everything in Wisconsin, right? Um, but they moved like the whole country. And I think that the Occupy movement wouldn't have happened had it not been for Wisconsin. And I think that Wisconsin wouldn't have happened had it not been for what was going on in Egypt. I 100% believe that, that whatever was, that inspiration that, was, that we were just getting through Twitter and through Facebook and through YouTube and through the news occasionally um, moved people. And so I wrote this song saying, hey, look, you lost, but like you changed perhaps a whole generation of people and there's no way to map that. And you won't know until the future, looking back, how important this failure was for future successes, perhaps. You know what I mean? And some of the conversations I've had with friends here have been that sort of like, you know, fuck, you know, what do we do now? And, and uh, so this is one song. The next song is on the same topic too, but uh, so this is just called Wisconsin. They break. Sometimes they call upon you, these things you try to make. And in those moments you push, but in the end, sometimes you don't think that you did much. I saw a couple thousand people build a home here in the shadow of the greed of the governor. And like a water that rose, your ideas flowed, and they made their way to the square. And they brought a hundred thousand people there. And hey, Wisconsin, you captured my heart. It gave me hope the way you fought. You sparked something and you opened the door. Cause you took that moment and you made it yours. Well, it was so important what you did. You gave us all something that we needed. And looking from here now it might take years before we realize it's full importance. How it inspired its participants How it danced outside of politics How it altered public consciousness How it built a future movement How it broke a spell of silence How it gave us all some guidance And hey, it was kind when you captured my heart It gave me hope the way you fought You sparked something and you opened the door Cause you took that moment and you made it yours you Took that moment and you made it yours Every revolution has a context And social change is a process I saw the sun rise to melt the snow To clear the land but more light to grow And it's spring now Well it's spring now Well it's spring now And hey Wisconsin you captured my heart It gave me hope the way you fought You sparked something and you opened the door Cause you took that moment and you made it yours Fair moment and you made it yours. It's a fair moment and you made it ours, and it's spring now. Woo! Now, another song that will hit, unfortunately, close to home.